Hi, my name is Maddie, and for my project, I'm going to be talking about some iconic pop culture moments from the late 2000s. Before I begin, I want to give a very big thank you to Papa Canna and Mila Tequila on YouTube, who inspired me to make not only this video, but the, in the next topics I'm going to be talking about for my project. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about the meat dress. What is the meat dress? Why would you ask that question? Who doesn't know about the meat dress? It's the night of the 2010 VMAs, and Lady Gaga was being nominated for 13 different awards that night, including two nominations for Best Video, something that has not been done by a female pop artist at that point in time. So obviously, it was an important night for her. But she wasn't going to be performing that night. So she obviously had to do something to stand out. She wasn't just going to show up and be whatever and be like, I can't let my fans down tonight because then I'm, I'm just another bitch in a dress. At the beginning of the night, she showed up in uh, Alexander McQueen's dress from fall 2010. And she was accompanied by gay and lesbian soldiers who were either discharged or left the military or army because of don't ask, don't tell policies that happened in 1993 or around that time wanted to bring light to that and that's why she had those soldiers with her that night the next dress she wore was a spiky black Giorgio Armani dress it's like made out of like black vinyl and she wore it with a I guess spiky headband and like spiky like boob cones like very um what era was it like very 1940s you know the last dress of the night was her meat dress. Like, what is there to say about the meat dress? Like, like wow, just, wow. It was made by fashion designer Frank Fernandez in collaboration with Nicola Formichetti, who has worked with Gabo for in several of her music videos and for several of her other outfits. They made it in about a week and it was sewn completely by hand onto a mannequin that had Gaga's like measurements. So she never, she being Gaga, never wore the dress prior to the night of the VMAs. Fernandez sourced the meat himself. He got it from his family's butcher and he used matambre, which is a thin cut of meat that comes from Argentina. The closest cut of meat we have that I could like compare it to is flank steak which is like a cheaper cut of meat. And if you're like Hispanic or Mexican, it's the type of meat we use for like carne asada, if you know. But I'm not a meat expert, so please don't like quote me on that. The dress was accompanied by a matching meat hat made out of like a steak, a meat purse, and meat shoes that were twined with butcher's twine, and a diamond choker with some cute bracelets. It completed the whole meat sample. For the day of the VMAs, the entire outfit was deconstructed and was put in giant coolers until it was time to wear it. The Gaga's camp was pretty adamant about not having any furniture in the dressing rooms. The day of the show, we were transporting her wardrobe over to the venue from her hotel in the morning. We saw these coolers being brought in and realized that the reason that they needed the space was to house all of these coolers. No one knew that these coolers contained the ingredients for one hell of a VMA dish. I'm getting called that she needs to be in her seat. They give her kind of a two minute heads up. The door opens up. I see she's wearing a red dress, a matching night. red hairpiece, matching purse, matching shoes. I start to notice people staring a little bit harder than they normally would. And I was literally like this close to her. Just remember looking at it and just wondering, is that really? And then I start looking at her dress and notice that it's not really a normal type of fabric. And I'm trying to pay attention to see what the white swirls are. And then it clicks that the ice chest was what was keeping the, the dress kind of fresh. A bit why what is it? Dress. Is that real meat? Is there a steak um, on her head? She was once again, she was protesting don't ask on tall policies like she was earlier or the day of the VMAs. She is saying basically that she didn't want it to be like offensive or anything because obviously you could tell in the interview that Ellen is put off because Ellen is vegan, I think. Check. I don't know. But she's vegan and she didn't want to, like, offend anyone, and she just wanted to make a statement, because that's who Gaga is. 
afterwards, I mean, the dress was only worn twice. So afterwards, it was put, it was frozen, and then it was put on display at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum in the Women Who Rock Vision, Passion, and Power exhibition for quite some time, where it toured around, toured around also. For the exhibition, it was dried out by a taxidermist, and it was very costly, and it ended up being a jerky dress, and when it was dried out, it did lose a little bit of its color, but it was dyed, so it still kind of remained the same, although some pieces were had to, were taken out because obviously you can't save everything, you know? Although the first person we think of is when you think of meat dress is Gaga, she hasn't been the first person to wear meat. Yeah, I know. In 1982, Canadian sculptor and artist Janice Steinbeck made a dress out, out of 50 pounds of flank steak for an art piece she called Vanita's Flesh Dress for an Albino Anorexic. It was unveiled in a 1992 exhibit, rotting in its case, with a picture of its the fresh dress with the model wearing it in Canada's National Gallery. It obviously, like Gaga's dress, received a lot of backlash from the public, a lot of people calling it disgusting and gross and absolutely, like, nasty. But the dress, like Gaga's dress, did have a, just a tiny bit of similarity, saying that it kind of reflected how without our outward beauty, this is Steinbeck's dress, not Gaga's dress, without our awkward bu- we're outward beauty, we're just meat. Also, a lot of people have compared Gaga's dress to a painting by Mark Ryden called Incarnation, which shows like a girl with platinum blonde hair wearing different cuts of meat. And I could obviously w- see why people would say that. It looks pretty similar. Also, I'm not sure. So that's Lady Gaga's meat dress. It's just a short little introduction about what it is and what it's made, just for anyone who doesn't really know, because... Well, I knew about the dress, because who who doesn't? It was really interesting to know, like, a little bit more information on why she wore it, what it was made out of, and, like, the thought process going into it. The dress is obviously super iconic, being referenced everywhere in The Simpsons, in an Al Yankovic song, and other pop culture movies, movies, TV shows, and the like. So... I really have to, like, give Gaga her credit where credit is due because, honestly, at this point in time, no one is doing it like her, and she's the moment. 